My name is Chen Junhao. My student number is 20078979. Today, we are going to give you a presentation about the Arctic region exploitation. Here is our structure of, of, about a uh, uh, topic. Uh, let me introduce our group members. This is Kemi and uh, Mia, Natalie and uh, Sophia. Our presentation will last uh, for 25 minutes and uh, after we finish, we will give you a couple of minutes to answer your questions. Uh, let's move on to introduction. The Arctic region is the most north part of the world. It uh, begins to the Arctic uh, uh, Circle and ends at uh, uh, North Pier. The Arctic uh, is includes the Arctic Ocean and the parts of Canada, Greenland, Iceland, Russia, the new United States, Sweden, Norway, and Finland. Uh, basically, we cannot support any exact data about how big the Arctic is. Uh, my partner, Kemi, will give you more information about this. In this beautiful and cold area, live on 2 million peoples and over 15 languages. They are also have many endangered species. And the following one is our key factors, the ab ab abundances natural resources in Arctic. The history of the exploitation Arctic can go back to the middle century. The workings firstly explored the Arctic region in 900, 981. They came from the Iceland and uh, settled on the Greenland. In the very beginning of the exploitation Arctic, the demands of, of people is quite simple. People hunt, hunt animals for food, clothing, and uh, shelter. However, as the uh, times go by and uh, the human histories develop, people began to explore silver, gold, and diamonds for their fortune. And uh, also the resources of the industries, such as oil, gas, minerals. Is that good or bad? Or whether we should explore the Arctic region? My partners will give you more information. Now welcome back. Okay, thank you for Victor's introduction and background. My name is Hans Wu. My ID number is 2007-94261. Now I will introduce the benefit of business in Arctic exploitation and the disadvantages it brings about. Um, the first direct benefit of business is shipping. <coughs> According to the crisis 2010, there are about 90% of traded goods transported across ocean by ship, and it will take one month um, by, uh, uh, by traveling from the East Asia to the Europe. And the journey time will be cut about two weeks if the ship travel across the Arctic Ocean. And uh, mm, similarly, um, travel from the East Coast of USA to the West Coast uh, it will cut 30% mm, of, of the tra uh, when travel from the when travel across the Arctic Ocean. And the uh, second benefit is about the fishing. Uh, with frequently shipping across the Arctic Ocean, um, 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 the commercial fishing become increasingly flourish, and um, the abundant fish stock become a big available. Uh, to the uh, fish company, and uh, there are about 68% organic and new species fish from the Arctic, Arctic Ocean, like the Arctic char, Arctic cod, bladder trout, and white fish. And um, moreover, the Arctic exploitation also brings about more um, opportunities for the tourism. Uh, because traveling in the Arctic region is a totally different experience from other places, and in the recent year, 
in the business tourism, uh, the tourism business in Arctic developed so fast, and people are more likely to choose to come to Arctic. And um, there are a large number of tundra uh, in Arctic region, and um, it is a, uh, and it's also a unique attraction in Arctic. And tundra is a vine where a uh, tree grows in indeed. Uh, is indeed by the low temperature and uh, mm, slow growth growing seasons. And uh, there are about 1,700 different types of plants growing on the tundra. For example, the uh, following, uh, the flowering plants and mosses. And uh, at the edge of the polar lands are the polar seas. Um, and many animals live in the polar seas, like the plankton and the grill. Plankton is a teeny uh, plant animal and uh, bacteria um, float on surface and the uh, grill is a teeny lobster. And also uh, there are many wildlife living in the Arctic region like lemmings, musk oxen, Arctic foxes and wolves. Uh, in the May and uh, early June, mm, uh, hundreds of thousand birds migrate to the Arctic to nest and raise their young, and the travelers can come to uh, can come and enjoy this bird migration in this period. And the most precious site in Arctic is the Northern Lights. It also can be called Aurora Berry Alice. Uh, it looks beautiful as the colors spread across the night sky, and it's also a special point. Uh, of the um, active traveling. Uh, however, the disadvantages of um, a business in active presentation cannot overlook. The global shipping can accelerate ice melt by uh, uh, across the Arctic Ocean, according to the uh, Arctic Focus 2010. And about 2% uh, current ship, 2% uh, current global ship traffic uh, would be transferred to Arctic by the 2030, and the figure will rise to the 5% by the 2050. Now, uh, my friend Mia will introduce the economic factors of the Arctic implementation. Thank you, Natsui. My name is Ye Chen. My student number is 2007-94080. I'm going to talk about the economic aspects of the Arctic region exploitation. As the solo sea melts, the huge deposit of the oil, gas, mineral, and other natural resources such as uh, hydrocarbons are becoming more accessible than ever before. According to the US Geological Survey conducted in 2009, there are more than 90 billion barrels of oil and more than 1,669 1, trillion cubic feet of natural gas and 44 million barrels of natural gas liquid in the Arctic region. The total amount of oil and gas will be the one-fourth in the world. And moreover, according to the McAllister 2010, the mineral resources in Arctic region is worse up to 1.5 to 2 trillion. And a lot of them are the rare or precious di minerals. For example, the diamond, the gold, the iron, and the rare earths. And there are also other natural resources, uh, such as hydrocarbons, fresh water, etc. These um, natural resources not only are important to the benefits of uh, of the Arctic countries, but also to the economic, to the world's economic, especially the oil and gas, which may shift the geogra ge geographic pattern of the world's oil and gas production. With the increasing demand of the oil and oil and gas, it may. The deposit of the oil and gas in Arctic region may release the ancienty of the oil security. And then, last but not least, the actual 
the actual deposit of the Arctic re the, of the resources in Arctic region is remain a secret. No one knows how many how much re natural resources is in the uh, Arctic 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 region. Yeah. So uh, we already know the economic economic benefits of our the Arctic region exploitation. Now let's focus on the difficulties. The Arctic region exploitation is a risky and expensive process. According to the Global Economic Intersection 2011, the oil in Arctic region may cost up to $100 to $300 per barrel. It may lead to a problem. Now, um, the the oil price per barrel is $100. It may cause a, a problem that the oil in Arctic region might be more expensive than it was. However, we can see from the figure three to four, the oil and gas reserve at the supply price is increasing, but the oil supply is in the 100, in future 100 years is decreasing. So we can pre predict the the oil from the uh, Arctic region might be more might be also profitable in the future, and we can uh, and most of the oil and gas are under less than five hundred meters of the water. Above above five hundred meters of water of is shallow sea. A lot of countries are now also control the. Uh, technology about the deep sea exploitation. So the shallow sea water, shallow sea exploitation might be more easier to, for them. And we can also see these two figures. These figures, the, the green color and the red color represent the gas and the oil perspectively. The darker the color it is, the more gas and oil there are. It shows that the oil, the, most of the oil and gas are not in the central of the Arctic region. So it also reduces the difficulties of the Arctic region exploitation. It's all of my economic part of the econ Arctic region exploitation. Next part will be delivery by Sophia. Thank you, Mia. Um, my name is Xiao Jing, and my student number is Two zero zero seven eight nine nine four three, and I will introduce the environment aspect in the Arctic region, in the Arctic exploitation. Sorry, for this fragile and the pristine environment, if human being has the quest to of energy in this Arctic region, there are some environment risks companies should never avoid to consider. First of all, is the pollution. And oil spill is the most serious problem in pollution. Professionals suggest that um, if there's an oil spill happened in the Arctic region, it will be much more serious than the one in the Gulf in the Mexico. In that case, BP spent three months to clean up the oil spill by different technologies such as cranes um, and chemical dispersants. And this disaster has brought environment, environment a huge damage. What will happen if there's an oil spill happened in the Arctic region? Well, according to a report from U.S. group, environment group, they warned that some difficulties in this uh, Arctic region, such as hurricane force winds and massive blocks of ice and uh, sub-zero temperatures, and winter darkness will overwhelm any clean-up attempts because these factors will result in some difficult and uh, embarrassing situation, like cranes will freeze, they will never work, and chemical dispersants may not work. The most, ser uh, the ser the most serious thing is oil will not be may, may not be discovered because they are underneath the ice and they will be trapped within the ice for four hours. If they are trapped in a multi-year ice, they will stay in with the ice forever. That will be a huge problem uh, human beings will never uh, solve. Okay, furthermore, 
there's another factor like uh, is endangered species. According to McBean, uh, 2005, exploitation and harvest of living resources, as Natalie mentioned in the business part, that will be a threat to the Arctic biodiversity. For example, some species, uh, like stellar sea cow in the Bering Sea and the great, uh, great auk in the North Atlantic, they were hunted for food by early Western explorers and the whalers, and they become extinct in the 19th and in the 18th and 19th century. If companies over exploit the Arctic region, the same situation will also happen to the Arctic region. Okay, let's move on to the next part. Fortunately, there are some new technology developed which allow companies to uh, tap underground uh, to tap under under uh, to tap underground uh, producing reservoirs with a smaller footprint on the surface. Take Port Hope Bay as an example. It was developed in the 1970s. There are about five five thousand acres covered by gravels for roads, drilling, and production facility size. If today, with the new technology, the gravels covered may less than 2,000 acres, which is a 60% reduction. As we can see in the chart, is the evaluation of the uh, machine from 1970 from present. We can see the machine becomes more, much smaller and more powerful than before, which will reduce the damage to the environment. Thank you very much. And let's welcome Kami to introduce the politics part. Thank you, Sophia, for the economic uh, aspect of the Arctic region. My name is Akin Tilolua Kemi, and my student number is 2007941960. Looking at the Arctic region, according to Geneta 2009, we see that the five countries that borders the Arctic, as um, Victor had earlier said, have exploitation rights over a 2 million mile zone extending north of their borders. And due to the business and the economic benefits of the Arctic region, countries that borders the Arctic are fighting over who owns part of the Arctic region. For example, in Nigeria, in Niger Delta in Nigeria, where I come from, we we'll see that uh, according to this World Facts book, it places, it ranked Nigeria as 11th in the world oil production. The oil production in Nigeria causes lots of problem in Niger Delta, and the people also uh, are affected by the oil spillage. Well, uh, as you have learned from what Sophia said concerning oil spillage in the environment, it causes lots of havoc. In Niger Delta today, there are so many people who have died because of the oil spillage in the environment. There are so many people who have lost their job. Despite these actions, companies still exploit the oil in the region. And in addition, we look at Libya. Libya presently is facing a political crisis in their country. <coughs> we, we see the United States of America and recently Europe involving themselves in the politics of Libya. Why? Because Libya is rich in oil and they want to be part of it. Furthermore, looking at Russia, Russia has a very high and powerful military base. And because of this, they also border the Arctic. They have uh, decided to patrol the Arctic with dedicated military force so that other nations will not come near it. Looking at the second map, we'll see that, looking at this map, this is the area that is being disputed by Russia and Norway. This is, that uh, yellow part is a territory claimed by Russia. Because of the abundant resources that are bound in the Arctic region, countries are interested. They want to be part of it. They want to increase their GDP 
thereby they are fighting for ownership. Next. However, uh, the Russia, Russia, Canada, Denmark, and Norway uh, recently, in 2009, according to the Guardian, agreed to bury their territorial dispute over the Arctic. If this was not done, it may lead to another world war. Furthermore, we have interest from other nations. Just as United States of America, the, um, U, uh, the UK, and other countries have interest in Libya, in Sudan, and other countries, so also other countries have interest in the Arctic region due to the opening of new waterways and international trade routes. Recently, the European Union um, said they even wanted an observer status. Why did they want an observer status? It is because of the abundant natural resources that are bound in the Arctic region. Moving further on, I want to make an example also of the Niger Delta and also of Sudan. The north and south of Sudan today are still quarreling over the part of who owns what in Sudan. And this is because of the oil. Therefore, oil exploitation in the Arctic region is a major factor to cause political tussle in the Arctic region. I will also say that uh, in Nigeria, the Niger Delta region experienced lots of environmental uh, oil exploitation. But despite this, the Shell and other oil companies still go ahead about their business. Why do they do this? Because there is profit in, oil explo in exploiting oil anyway. Therefore, exploiting oil in the Arctic region will bring increase to the GDP of any country. To our, uh, to our recommendation, I will leave you to Victor to give you this. Thank you. Thank you, Kemi. To conclude, we have uh, four arguments in our presentation. We have uh, discussed and analysis from business, economic, and the environment policy areas. We all know the exploitation optic will bring damages to local environment and uh, might be destroying the inhabitants of the creatures. But uh, however, we tend to agree with the exploitation in uh, optic region because our existing resources in this planet will be would be used up one day. And uh, we, we look at this data from the United States Geographical Survey 2008. This huge of numbers of the resources to su supply human consumptions for several decades and until we find the new resources to replace it. Uh, we also suggest uh, three factors. If we, if we want to exploit the Arctic region, we could choose the right time. Uh, the ice cover will be removed by wind and uh, ocean cover in summer. And uh, secondly, just like the Sophia mentioned in her part, using the new technologies can reduce the interruption and the distortion to the local environment. And uh, thirdly, we supposed uh, if any organizations and uh, agencies can make rules and uh, laws to supervise the export exp um, developers, we recommend uh, may take more considerations and make systemization and uh, effective plans before we go to explore the Arctic region. Thank you for listening. This is all about our presentation. Uh, now we are. Oh, we are glad to answer your questions which you may have.